Good day to all. Welcome to a special edition of Virtual Thursday uh, here on the 25th of July. What we're going to be covering today is the first look at ER rig checks. Uh, this should be coming out this afternoon. Uh, we're actually getting ahead a little bit so that um, you'll be prepared and you'll see some of the new changes this afternoon uh, right after the update hits. And, uh, I think it's about, about three hours away, roughly. Uh, so we'll just get started. If you've got uh, some questions and all, please uh, ask them online. We have Mark Wolf is the lead international trainer. He's gonna be in the background um, and answering some questions for you and also uh, communicating here uh, within the broadcast too. And then also my name is Mark or Mac. McElroy, I'm the lead trainer for emergency reporting. So let's uh, get started going through. All right, remember we always have the virtual or training opportunities. We've got the virtual Thursdays, they're always free. We have them on the first Thursday of every month at 1100 hours Pacific time. So whatever that equates to in your area, um, we have those then and uh, like today, we're actually doing an extra. We do put those out there sometimes when uh, new stuff is coming out or we have um, you know, some things we wanna try to share with you uh, in between. We have online training. Of course, our three hour blocks is customized to meet your needs of your department. So uh, you can call in and get prices on that. And also on-site training. That's also customized to meet the needs of your department. And you'll communicate with both of those with whatever instructor is gonna be coming out or, um, to help you at your department or either online, and you can communicate beforehand so that you can get some things, uh, sort of um, questions at, answered and set up an agenda and stuff like that. Then we have our regional training academies that happen around the country. We've got uh, actually a few more of those left for this year. We have Cincinnati, Ohio actually coming up next week. August, or excuse me, July 30th and 31st, and then August 1st next week in Cincinnati. And then later this year in September, the 10th, 11th, and 12th, we'll be in New Orleans, Louisiana. So we'll be down there during that time. So uh, if you're able to uh, come out to that one, please get on uh, emergency reporting, you'll see, and we'll have uh, links to register for that. RTA coming up. Uh, we're working on presently for next year. As soon as we get those um, put in and updated, we'll let you know and uh, they'll be shared at that time. So if you want to register, of course, emergencyreporting.eventbrite.com and you can register for those coming up or once we get them posted, you'll be able to see the ones for uh, 2020 in there also. Here again, if you need assistance, of course, emergencyreporting.com, you can go to customer success in the training and learning center. You can see our regional academies, our on-site training, uh, the live online training sessions, any of the free webinars we have, and then of course, meet the uh, emergency reporting trainers. So you'll see here us, of course, the regional training academies, we refer to them as the RTAs. So you can also reach us, our uh, training coordinator, Nicole, at training at emergencyreporting.com, and she can get some prices and stuff out there to you for the on-site and uh, or the live webinars or something like that, okay? All right, next up, let's jump in to start talking about the new ER rig checks. Uh, after the deploy today or the update this afternoon, you will actually, when you go into your Maintenance module, you'll see this little banner up top. Talks about the new feature, unlimited checklist, mobile friendly, and a bunch more. You'll see some of those things we talk about um, as we're going through. You'll see a learn more clickable button right here. You can actually click that and it'll take you out to our um, video we have on it. Uh, you'll see a short video, I think it's about uh, four minutes long. 
And then you also see try now. This is actually going out in beta this afternoon, available for um, everyone in the commercial side. I believe uh, possibly the uh, ultra will probably be uh, next Tuesday when it comes out, but you'll be able to do the same thing there where you just try it now and it will bring it up and you can start uh, seeing and I'll show you what it'll take you to. And then if you X out, it'll go away and back to what you uh, originally see, but that'll be the banner you'll see this afternoon or this evening. Okay. All right, let's drop this down. So we're in an account here. This is a training account that uh, I have. So first things we wanna do, of course, is we wanna go down before you get started or if you turn it on, go to your administration module. So down here at the bottom, go to your security roles and permissions. Okay, so if we click on security roles and permissions, we can go to whatever we want to set people at. We want to go in and adjust that. So let's say we're going to our firefighters. We go into the permissions here of that role. If we look at the maintenance module, you'll see that now you have create and edit rig checks. And then also perform rig check. So you want to set those to whatever you want the people to have. So we'll say firefighters, they need to be able to perform. Notice this request and stuff changed with that, okay? So if we pull over rig check, it's gonna need these other things for them to be able to do, okay? All right. And then the other thing, of course, we want them to make sure that if they create or edit, who that is, we can bring those things over, okay? So if we don't want them to do that, we can pull those back. So either they have it, and that's what we need to look at, give them full access, and then minus the things you do not want them to be able to do. Okay. All right. Another thing we want to look at and to make sure that it's actually feeding like you need it to is in administration also, you want to go to your daily log activity code list. And the reason we're doing that, if we look at these default activity codes here, we have some new ones in there. We've got the events that come out here a few weeks ago. You can actually make one for that so that it will uh, default your events over to an activity code you want, but also default rig check to an activity code. So when you drop that list down, you're gonna have to go into first your log activity code list and add that one. So I added this daily apparatus, daily uh, apparatus check, and it's pretty easy. Just add in there and then call the, uh, make a code and then a code title uh, to go in there. And then once you save it, it will be there. And uh, then you can pick it on that default setting. Okay, any questions so far, Mark? Everything, everybody understanding pretty good so far? Take that as a yes. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and jump into one. So if we see, this is the apparatuses that I have set in this particular um, account. So if I expand all, you'll see the ones that I have. So there's three engines, there's an aerial, there's three rescues, an ambulance, and then also uh, chief officer vehicle. So if I click on ER rig check, it'll be up here at the top. Okay, so if I click that button, it'll automatically open up to this. And this is our, um, you know, new look. So you'll see it up here. Okay, and then your vehicles will already, the ones that are in your account will already be shown on rig check when you come in. So they'll already be here. You'll notice that these have the zero checklist associated with them. So we're gonna to have to make new checklists, okay? You're not gonna be able to bring your checklist over from um, ER truck check powered by Halligan. It's not the same, you're gonna have, now you can open that up and sort of copy paste to make you one, uh, but it's not gonna be um, able to just merge in, okay? So that you're gonna to have to do new ones here. The good thing about that is, 
in ours, and I'll mention this here in just a minute too when we start uh, making a checklist, is there is no limit on how many checklists you can have per apparatus, and there's no limit on the amount or questions that you can have in that checklist. So it's pretty much whatever you have, you can basically take your checklist you're using now and put it in as your checklist on uh, that particular piece of equipment. So let's get started. First off, we'll do right here as far as the search menu or the search bar here. Now, this is sort of like the new in events and in Messenger. It is just one. So if I'm looking for a apparatus, I can tell at 12, um, 59, and it's just gonna go that. That's my aerial uh, truck. Now, if you name them something else, you can call it engine one or whatever, if that's in there, and it's gonna populate those things. But it's not, you know, that name plus station plus vehicle number or any of that stuff, okay? It's all like, as you're doing, it's gonna start populating and searching for what you're looking for and sort of start narrowing down. That's one way. The other is show all apparatus. I can show all. I can actually show just station one, the ones that are located at station one, or I can show just the ones at station two and turn the others off, or I can show just the unassigned apparatus, which I don't have any in here, or we can leave it on all. This current station is just wherever I'm stationed at, as far as whoever's in there when you go home. Remember, we have this uh, on the home button, your station that you're stationed at, that you're assigned to, uh, here, that's what you're gonna be looking at when you go, uh, when you start changing these around like that. That's what it's looking for. Just like in the filters here, uh, you can collapse these. In the filters over here, same thing. You can look at in, in service, out of service, only incomplete checks that are done on some of them, and then also assigned to my station. And when you think my station, that's where you're assigned on your home screen, what uh, station you have been assigned to is what's gonna come up. Okay, so if we say out of service and we just show assigned to my station in service. So this is a combination, the top and the bottom. Okay. All right, and that's on the status one. All right, so let's go actually to, first thing we'll do is to create or edit a checklist. So if we go in, I've got one here that I have created that's already been published. Okay, we can actually look at it. We'll go in and we can open it up here. Okay, so this is basically what it's gonna do for you and what it's gonna show. You can put a picture in if you want stuff like that, and I'll show you that in just a second. So let's go done with this one, and let's actually create a new one. So it's pretty easy. We go to new, okay? We can checklist title. We'll say this is gonna be a weekly. Apparatus check. And we can say um, done weekly on every apparatus. Okay, just something like that. So now we can go down. This is going to be on there for you. This is a default question. This is distance and hours. So your abdominal reading and engine hours. New compartment. I can call this whatever. So when I start typing here, if I call this the, uh, let's see, engine compartment. So you notice that it changes up here. So I can enable bulk pass. So that means if I push yes, whatever I list under this, they'll have a one click button to say pass on everything. Uh, it's just a speed thing, or if you rather them do it one by one, you can just put no, and they'll be able to go that. I can actually add a photo here. So if I go up here and I can add a photo in here, and we'll just say that it's uh, 
this one for right now just because it's there and it will load that in there i could actually take a picture uh, with my camera or ipad or whatever of the engine compartment and uh, put it in so a first question we'll say um, check fluid levels And we can put um, you know, whatever you want to put in the description. We can put uh, description, any notes, and um, deficiencies, or whatever you want to put in there. You can continue to add everything that you want in that area to be checked. So we can just keep adding them to it, whatever that question may be. Okay. Then at the end, you would see down here, you can add another compartment. Maybe it's uh, underneath or you know, drivetrain or whatever you wanna put down here that you wanna check. There again, you've got the yes, you can bolt pass or you know, add a photo, whatever you'd like to do there. All right, so if we go there, we can actually push done. Now you see these are drafts, the weekly. We can actually go into this one again, and you see we can preview it or we can publish it. So if we publish this, remember I was on um, one. Now this is because I went into it, it updated again. So let's go in and publish. All right, so you'll see these two. So if we go back to our rig checks, this is listed on 1251. You'll see now that I have two checklists. Now, if I want those to be on others, you know, to go into other um, vehicles. I can actually go into a couple different places, but I can go in here. Let's go right here. We'll see this weekly. You see the little bar here. Of course, this is the delete. This is your duplicate and assign or duplicate and assign. So if I click on this one, the one thing we can do right now is only one at a time. So if I say I want this to go to 1252 or another engine, I can duplicate and assign it to that also. So here again, this is what I put out there. We just open that up and I have to publish it to that vehicle. So if I go back to apparatus here, now you'll see that it has two checklists and to start or to see them, you would see, okay, there's the daily and the weekly. Same thing here, daily and weekly. And then over here, I haven't assigned it to this one yet, so I just have the daily. All right, to assign it to that one, there again, open it up, your checks. And you can open that up, I believe, at either one of the apparatus. So if I wanted to go to this one, you're still gonna, well, it's only gonna show you what's there. So I'll have to go open it up in one of the vehicles that has that other check and then duplicate it and assign it to that next vehicle. Okay, and then publish. So if you wanna change any of that between the ones you can, all right? So let's look at your vehicles again. Now you have the two checklists on each one of these. Okay, any questions so far, Mark? All right, I take that as nothing right now. So let's look at what we actually and how we perform a checklist. Uh, would like you to know also, and I might have mentioned this earlier, but just as we're looking at these, I want you to know that the there's a short video about four minutes, and then there's also knowledge base articles in the knowledge base on the support website. So they're already up right now. We posted them earlier. Uh, just right before this, so you can go ahead and see if there's something you missed. And like we said, this should be out uh, sometime um, this afternoon. We'll have this video up. Here are the daily apparatus check. Let's go into that. We'll say we're gonna perform one. So daily check on every pumper. We can put our mileages in. We can scroll down. Okay, there's uh, a picture of it. Here we've got cab controls, lighting, and equipment. Now I do have the pass all function here. Now what that's gonna do is just pass all of them. 
So you can look at headlights, do both high and low beam, uh, do both high and low beam work, your brake lights, anything like that. If we notice something that's wrong, we can, uh, we'll just say we've got a fail here. So anytime we have a fail, we want to go in and put some notes down here. So we can say that the um, front emergency light is not rotating. Okay. Or flashing, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say there. Okay. So we've noted that. We can add a picture if we want, or some file. It can be a picture of that because you know a picture is worth a thousand words, and I don't know any of us that want to type a thousand words in here. So you can add that in there. Then you can go on down, scroll on down. Then we've got our EMS compartment. You've got a picture of the compartment here. Then you've got a picture of your Life Pack 15. There again, on this one, you do not see that uh, pass all. So we have to do it individual. And then some things in here, okay, when you click that down, check functions uh, screen, uh, your battery, charging, electrodes, inside pad or uh, pads or adult and child, however way you want to list that in there, you can put that in there. Then you can put trauma bag, same thing, uh, you know, what's in it. You can have on there what you expect to be in there, your suction unit, yes, your airway bag. Okay, the laryngoscope, check the batteries, the blades, all this good stuff. So we'll say all that passed. Now we go down to the driver's side front compartment. You see that uh, this is a picture of it. Once you actually click the pictures, they do get larger. Okay, and opens up in a second tab, so we can go right back here. Okay, you can say this spanner riches, uh, LDH spanner, spanners, the hose, everything is in there. So we'll say, hey, Mac, it's Mark. Can I break in for just a moment? Yes. A very, sure. very timely question mm -hmm. from Harry Barber, who is a uh, town in Nestleville, Ohio. Um, All right. How many pictures can we add to each compartment? Is the answer one, or is it more than that? Uh, it's actually more than that. Yeah. Here is one that I've added here, and you know you can blow that up. And then if we go back, there's actually a second one here. So I don't know the exact number uh, that you can add, but uh, as you see, I know it's more than one. Okay, I haven't thanks. heard if there is and, uh, a- Also uh, to catch you up, yeah. I accidentally muted my microphone. Oh, okay. We do have multiple questions that have been coming in and we've been answering them as quickly as we can. Uh, at some point when you're done, we can review them. All right, sounds good. All right, yes, I, I don't know the exact number of uh, what they're allowing in the, in the picture size or area, but as you can see, I know it's more than one, but I don't know the if there's a limit uh, on that or not. Okay, we'll have to find that out. All right, so we get down at the bottom, we've passed everything, so we could submit and start the next check, or we just submit it since this is the only one. Say you had, uh, one checklist for your, you know, your your apparatus, like we was talking about, and maybe you pulled out the checklist for uh, the life pack and the trauma bag and the, you know, the airway bag and all. You pulled those to separate list in there. That's when you would actually submit and start next uh, to go in there, so it would be done. Okay, so we'll submit this one, and then of course you'll see the read check submitted up here, a little note come up, it's all automatic. Or uh, auto save on there. So you'll see in the 1251 or my engine one here, you'll see view history. If we click the view history, it's actually gonna take you to your maintenance history for that vehicle. So you can see uh, earlier, let's see, they had a right uh, minor repair, right brake light out. And then we had a routine inspection that it says completed, but if we hover over that, you'll see what's, uh, what's actually going on. So if we open that up, it give, takes you straight to the completed maintenance or uh, to complete maintenance on that so that you can go through and see that. Okay. 
and there's going to be a few minor enhancements between what we're seeing right now and when it comes out this afternoon or this evening they are working on some of that uh, as we speak but you'll see here's a completed maintenance that come through the reason that one is already completed is the reason it's completed is because you know we completed that inspection that routine inspection it's going to show us a routine inspection here but also what this is doing, if we close this out on our history, if we go back to our home screen, remember setting up that uh, daily activity code that if we look down here, here's your daily apparatus, daily apparatus check, shows who done it. They're working on getting it put over here too for reports and stuff. We can open this up and see what's going on. And you should notice this afternoon, um, that it will show you if anything was wrong or failed in that, it will show you that in here in the notes too. Okay, and it does calculate the time for you up here also. Okay. Any questions there, Mark? Hello, oh, Mac, we've had uh, quite a few. Um, I just want to reemphasize okay. <laughs> as we had multiple people ask about um, the number of checklists per vehicle and items per checklist. There is no restrictions on that. So right. um, if you want to add four or five, six checklists for a vehicle, you can do that. And there's no limit on the items. Um, one thing I'm going to uh, mention too is there's a several questions revolving around will the system automatically create a uh, work order for that vehicle for the items if you fail it? And the answer right now is no. And I just ask anybody that's really interested in that, and I hear that quite often from um, yes. customers that they would like that, go into our community forums to the feature request section there and please put that in. And if you find it in there, um, somebody else may have already put it in, um, vote it up, put the votes onto it, and then we uh, will get a, increase the chances of that feature being developed. And let it's me been trusted, mentioned by all of us. So hopefully, uh, but please, please, like uh, Mark was saying, please go in and uh, vote on it to show the desire and uh, the uh, want, I guess, you know, for the other yeah. departments for that feature um, to be in there. Yeah, we've also got Brian asking, can you put in a short video? into that file for that um, item. Yes, you can. Uh, the system yes. in general terms will accept almost any file type in there. There is a size limitation so for a video, since they take up a lot of uh, gigabytes or megabytes, um, you want to make sure it is a uh, less than, I believe the, the limit per file is 25 megabytes. So make sure it is short, Brian. Um, and you should be able to add that when we do add that file in there. Yeah. Absolutely. So. One thing I did want to show is it, it won't automatically start it, uh, the checklist, or excuse me, the request maintenance. But when you do go into the view history here, you will see that it is, you know, on that apparatus, you'll see that where it's failed here, you can actually click on here and it's completed maintenance will be in there. That That's showing you there. So if you had one that failed, you can go up, you see the daily apparatus check here. It will link you back to that. So you'll see what, this is the printed version and what they showed. So you see, oh, okay, we had a fail here. So it's a reminder to some degree here to go put a work order in on this. Uh, but as far as it going and automatically starting it uh, for emergency flashers, um, not there right now. Is that, uh, you got some more questions, Mark, you want to discuss? Let me bring this back up and maybe I can see some. Oh, yeah, Mac, um, yeah. <laughs> you Hugh just asked also, can you add a picture of a discrepancy in a truck check? Yes, we just mentioned yes, you can yes, add files can. to a uh, check step. And uh, Mac Absolutely. can uh, show you that real quick. Yes, so we'll uh, go back in the rig check and just say we'll start one here. Uh, we'll start a weekly apparatus check on engine two, fill out our miles on here. We can go down and we can say this one here 
there was low fluid. So if we drop this down and we say um, low um, oil, okay, or low depth, whatever you want to put in there, then you see right down here the file. You can add a file right here and add a feature to it. These are just what's popping up, but yeah, I can throw that in there like that, and it would load it in there. Mac, we've got a question yes. from Jake asking about the default question, which is at the top, the odometer reading and engine hours. I had a, yes. a conversation with the product owner that's working on this, mm -hmm. um, Jake, and they realize now that specifically like the engine hours field um, some vehicles do not have that, so uh, right now it's required and it's mandatory. You cannot remove it, but uh, we would like them to be able to turn that off so that you don't have to put that in. So uh, Mac just did what the answer is right now um, for temporary on that. Um, put zeros in it. And that's about the best we can do. Zeros. At they, they, that's what they went to Mac for, too. Yeah. So please yeah. um, don't hesitate to... Uh, Give that beta feedback. At the top of the page, there should be a link for that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll be on the, the beta when you come in. You'll see that it'll be a beta function, and you can go in. It's actually not within the, the checklist here, but if we go back to the original right here, and you can just put send feedback, and make sure you sort of describe it the best you can, and then put send feedback here. All right, and one thing you can see when you come in, you're actually going to see here, say I started one and I can do, remember I was pulling up the weekly uh, checklist. Here's what we just pulled up. If I go back into that, it's going to ask me, okay, you see, we didn't complete that. We, we just done some and I got off of it. So I can continue checking here or I can start new. Uh, one thing we would say is, guys, be careful. Say uh, the shift prior was, you know, doing their apparatus check and they got a call, they had to leave and they just forgot or whatever. Uh, if it's the next shift, don't continue theirs. You start new because that's a new check. Then you'll be monitored for one that you missed if you complete the other. Does that make sense? You follow everybody? Uh, there are some reports that are coming out with the deploy today. Um, not sure exactly all that's going to show, but you will have some reports with um, you know, for rig check coming out this afternoon or this evening. Okay, so we we can continue that or we can start a new. You see where I've put those in already. Uh, so I can just come down and start passing these. Pass and then submit and it would be. So it's submitted and then I can go into the history here and see that um, that engine has routine inspection daily and a weekly that was done. Hey, Mac, I got another one here that's yes. pretty timely too. Um, yeah. Mark Thornton is asking about, um, will the system alert you when the rig check has been formed according to the schedule in the department? And the answer is not at this time, but gosh, oh, Mark, that is such a great idea for that beta feedback or a feature request in the community forums. Um, that's something we uh, often actually get questioned about or ask, why don't we do this? Uh, if it comes from you, it'll mean uh, a lot. Right, yeah. If and, um, my suggestion, um, Mark, if I may, for the folks online now, when, if you're wanting feedback for the rig check, go right here. Uh, this is actually being sent back to the PO and others that are monitoring it and seeing what all comes. And especially while we're in the beta, okay, uh, I would go here before I would put uh, tickets right now. Go do the feedback here. Do you agree with that, Mark? I think it's gonna be a little bit- Oh, abs absolutely. That done. feedback, when you send that in, goes directly to the product owner and they'll right. see it daily. So, and, and they're looking at it, definitely. So I would put, uh, features that you would like to see on rig check and stuff like that, put them in the send feedback for now. Uh, once that goes away uh, here later on, uh, then you can, you know, go into the forum and, and uh, 
suggested features and stuff like that. But for now, you know, stay here within the the uh, rig check. I think we're going to get uh, more um, traction there. It's being looked at a lot, lot closer. They're, they're looking at all of it, but this is sent directly to them. Okay, for right now. Okay, um, right. Mac, I'm going to jump in again and uh, yes, address a couple questions that we have. People are asking, absolutely. is there an added cost? And the answer is absolutely not. The rig checks will be provided to all accounts that use the maintenance module, and you have it active in your yes. account, which is most everybody. And uh, also, we have a question from Caleb, and this is uh, specific to Texas. They're asking about SCBA checks for a time period. Uh, we do have reports available for that. You have to put them in, uh, Caleb, and this goes off of the topic of rig checks, but in your equipment module, equipment page, I should say, in the maintenance module, you can do a bulk operation. So let's say you check 10 of them in a, a given day. You can go to those uh, air packs that you have, your breathing apparatus, and do what, exactly what Mac is doing right now. And he is adding a bulk operation for the uh, air packs. And that's how we would document that very quickly and easily. Um, and then you can pull reports off of that as well. And he's just stepping through that. Cost associated and stuff, and then you just complete, close the five items. So I'm updating all of those at one time. So it could be a manner this time we did five on engine one, and uh, maybe the, the crew on ladder one checks them out. They can go and put their record in uh, separately than that, but you can do them in a bulk operation, save a lot of keyboard entry time. Right. Thanks, Mac. And your reports, um, I cannot remember exactly which one that was, but uh, are the number but it is in here. And, uh, oh, I don't remember which one it was, Mark, to you, but you, there is a report in there to, um, you know, for. Yeah, there are specifically a couple of them. I think 808 is the yeah. one that I was thinking of uh, right off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that's the one. There's only 600 and so that's yeah. an equipment list, not the maintenance history. Yeah, that's not the. We have uh, 672 reports now, so it's kind of hard to keep track of every one of them. Yeah, we just have to look, but it's there is one in there. Um, it's just not showing up right now, but there is one in there that will pull that and show that for you. Okay. All right, got more questions, Mark? Well, they're coming in a pretty constant stream. <laughs> um, Charlie, I'm going to um, back up to uh, the, whatever you put in here about the calendars, that's a known defect that is showing uh -huh. items on the next day. And I think that is actually, isn't that on the list to be uh, pushed out as a uh, deploy correction on that today? So that I think so, yes. Soon. So hopefully, Charlie, that will uh, get fixed. And Jonathan, I'll put a note in here, is uh, in his opinion, this is Jonathan Patterson, that he wouldn't mm -hmm. like for a maintenance record to be auto created for each failing item uh, because of the time delay for the, for them. But uh, I think it's right. it going to be a good idea to have those auto created so that they don't fall through the cracks, Sean. And that's just my opinion, um, and you are certainly entitled to your opinion. Right. Okay. Um, uh, Tyler see. is asking about when you uh, you start a checklist mm -hmm. and you get a call and you have to leave it. Max showed that a little bit before. That does auto save it. Yeah. And you can go back in and access that and. Uh, finish it up. If you try to start a, net, a new check on it, it will give you a warning message there, and you'll be able to uh, restart that one or, or complete it. Actually, and Mac demoed that a little bit ago. He's having trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, I think I completed it already. So let's let's just start one here, and let's uh, go to something different here. And if once I go off of that screen, if I go back into that. And it's going to show that I've done so many. I can continue checking if I'm the one that started this. If not, I can start new. 
and then it goes into a new check for me that's not been filled out. Okay. One of the common questions we're getting to is when's it going to go live? And the answer is today, about 3 p.m. Pacific time when our deploy goes out. Now that could vary a little goes, bit depending on what's going on, but that's the yeah. typical time that you'll see that. The back. update should come out shortly after that. And it is going to be live, but it's in the beta right now. So remember, there's going to be a few bugs and stuff in there that uh, you'll find. That's why we put it out to beta. Uh, maybe some requests that you have. Also, that's where you put the send feedback and actually put your feedback in and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it will be later today, this evening, uh, depends on where, where in the U.S. You're, you're at or where you're at in the world. Uh, the time may vary a little bit, but it will be sometime today. Okay, we've okay. got a, another great question put in by Robert. Robert, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name. I think it's, well, I will. Keppel. Um, he's asking, is there's a failure from today? Will that carry over to the to tomorrow? In my opinion, the best way to, to do that is to set up the default code to put your rig check out onto your daily log and any failing checks it will list them in that daily log entry. So that's pretty important. So you can uh, get that information to your other crews. Working. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, Mark, if I didn't mean to interrupt there, but yes, right now is what you've seen me doing in here. If I go to the home screen, these are coming over into my daily log. Remember I was talking about go to the daily log and set up you a, a code and make that so it'll come over. Right now, they are not putting the failure on here uh, up on the daily log. It is in the maintenance request, but not on the daily log. But it should be this afternoon when the update is done or when this goes live. Uh, they're actually putting a uh, another code in there, so it should come to the daily log with the failed item. From what we understand, did you get that same thing, Mark? Uh, yes, absolutely. Got another great question from uh, Jimmy Sherrod. He is asking, uh, like, in my opinion, what are some of the benefits of ER rig checks compared to Halligan? And Jimmy, I'm going to lend my discussion to the free version of truck checks powered by Halligan. The big um, item is the fact that you're having unlimited number of checklists per vehicle and an unlimited number of items per checklist. And you also see some additional functionality into the future when they fully develop it and add some of those suggestions um, that you all hopefully will be putting in through the send feedback link at the top of the page. Exactly. So uh, another thing here is like the view history, you know, we had somebody talking about the failed. Uh, it is here, there was a failed question in there. So if I go into this one, it's gonna, like say, it's producing a completed maintenance for you. So it's putting in a maintenance for the actual, um, you know, checklist that was done. It was done just like that. But if you look on the top, rig check link, if I click this link, it opens up that printed version of the checklist that I've done and then you'll see these failed items if there's any. So it's linking you back to this. Okay. Hey, uh, Mac, I got a great question and idea put yes, into sir. us by Todd Russell up there mm -hmm. in Alaska. I hope things are going well, Todd. I, I know a few weeks ago, you guys had a heat wave. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, yes, what we can do is, as you guys are posting questions, they are recorded into a system. And what I'll do is go in and um, grab that and I can actually email that to everybody that attended this today. So yes, good question, great great uh, idea and we will get that sent out probably sometime tomorrow morning. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it today. And, and Mac also, you wanted me to mention uh, yes, when we're getting close to closing and we are 45 minutes in. Right, mm -hmm. I was just, just fixing to say that too, so. Uh... Uh, any questions you want to try to cover real quick? 
Mark? Yeah, a, a great one from Devin. You guys are asking great questions, and I'm just glad I have a lot of the answers for you here. Um, <laughs> when the free version of Halligan Truck Checks goes away, will you be able to access your old truck checks? And the, the answer is yes, because whenever you complete a truck check in Halligan, remember it is putting that in for that particular vehicle as a maintenance item, and Mac's going to go to one right now. So you go to the maintenance history for a particular vehicle. Now, this is see. probably not in here because I didn't have it activated on here. But if you look at the histories, it's going doing to put this. It in, right, as a routine maintenance. And you can filter those out. And also there's a couple reports that you can filter by maintenance type and by vehicle so you can get it specific to the particular vehicle and uh, the specific maintenance type to uh, bring that report in. So Devin, great question, and I, hopefully that was a great answer for you. So you can just print those out and hand them to your FAA um, auditor, and that should satisfy them. Let me try to open one up here. Uh, Mark, that I've got an account that had the other on it, and we'll see if we can't uh, show what we were discussing there. You see, I have the truck check here and the ER check. But if you go to our apparatus and let's open one up that's I think I've had done there. Got here. Not sure if this is going to be which one this is. That's going to be one of um, the other, I believe. But here's your apparatus check that come from that. Okay, perfect. So Mac is From, showing you um, basically yeah. how you can access that, just one of the versions of the apparatus checklist from Halligan, uh, the free version. Um, and, and yes, I'm ask, answering a question for Corey Green. I mm -hmm. cannot remember the specific numbers of them, Corey, but there are a couple of reports that you can pull for rig checks. They're, they get put into the maintenance history, again, as a routine maintenance. Yeah. So you can filter by that per rig on those reports and uh, print them out. So yes, because it does put it into the vehicle's maintenance history. And here is the report that I'm showing on screen that we had for ER truck checks powered by Halligan. This will be in the picture. It actually prints to a PDF for you. So you'll see it. Um, here's a completed maintenance that was done back in May. Uh, from like doing a uh, truck check. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that it is down here. So it will be in here. That and, and Mac, I'm gonna break in again. I, I did remember, yes. um, Corey, there, there is actually going to be a specific report deployed when this deploys later today. Um, look for mm -hmm. report 1775, because that's gonna be specifically tied to ER rig checks. So as you're doing right. them, um, it should print that on the report. I haven't seen it as of yet myself, but that is getting deployed too. And a common question too being asked, um, what about mobile devices? Well, you'll, you'll log in through a browser on your mobile device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, and uh, log into your ER account and use it that way. There is at this time um, not going to be a uh, special um, like web app like we're using for Fuel ER. Yeah. But as you notice, that new look we were talking about, um, guys, that you see on our program and then also that you see with the, the rig check, that is actually to optimize the use on a tablet or a phone or something like that. So it will size better and easier for you. So that's where that's coming from. So let's look at the maintenance. I don't know if it's in here yet or not, Mark. What number did you say, Mark? Um, I, if you're looking for the um, the maintenance, this it's 600. That one at the bottom of that list should work because you can filter that by maintenance type and by vehicle. Okay. That should work for you. Yeah, the one they were coming out with. I 
don't know if that's going to log in a something uh, different. It should put it in as a yeah. You need your dates. Yeah, routine, routine, routine maintenance. Routine but, yeah. But there's some for the rig check itself, and I don't remember the number of the. Oh, that was 1775. And that is, but it's, it's probably, yeah. are you a pre There it is, right there. Yeah, that's the regular. This is one in three, this is it. one in two. Yeah. And whenever uh, this gets deployed, and I don't know if it's on pre prod right now, Mac, you might want to try 1775. Yeah. Yeah. Percent of rig checks passed or failed per apparatus. We'll just look at all of them and see what we come up with. Uh, while you're doing that, Mac, re rendering that report, um, Jonathan is mm -hmm. asking, can we edit a checklist after submitting? Um, like, for example, you forgot a step before you're submitting it. And the answer is, Jonathan, you cannot submit the checklist until it, every item on it is complete. So uh, yeah. before you can submit it. So the answer is no, so you it, can't, but you can't even submit it until uh, it's complete. Yeah, it, it will stay in that um, state of sort of on hold, I guess you would say, until it is uh, completed. It will show that it's incomplete, and that's what it will go through. So, oh, went to the wrong one. Actually showing this or demoing this on one of our test accounts here. So, if we go into... The maintenance and you've got any in in here notice when i start this uh i think this one i did not complete yeah see zero of seven i i can continue it but i can't submit this until all of those are answered okay it, it won't it'll stay in this state it won't won't go so say if i go into it i continue and i answer a few more of them just for you know, and I get called out again, so I have to leave. I go back. It, it won't let me submit that one. I can continue, but if I go all the way to the bottom, it, it's going to tell me incomplete. It won't let me do that. Okay. That answer that question. Or Mark? Uh, yeah, I hope it did. Yeah, you demonstrated exactly yeah. what he was asking for. Yes. Yeah. I've um, got a question here. Um, for from CJ Dickinson, it should be available for Ultra Secure on next third Tuesday. Yeah, sometime next week. Yeah, next Tuesday. Yes. And John is asking. He's been apparently a, an early tester. And uh -huh. Putting in equipment titles, they put a name and the system reverted the title back to new question instead of the title we created. I John, I believe that was a a bug in that that has been fixed. So try that again and make sure when you're editing that checklist, you'll uh, submit done at the top or bottom of the page. And uh, it should save it at that point. And then you can publish it after you select done to save the whole entire list. Right. So we, we believe that has been fixed. Yes. And if you have questions, um, of course, you can email one of us or one of the trainers. Um, if you would like, uh, my personal email is mac, M-A-C, at emergencyreporting.com. And, and Mark, here's? Yes, yeah, Mark Wolf, mark.wolf, W-O-L-F, at emergencyreporting.com. And yeah, send us an email. We'll get back with you as soon as we can on those. Absolutely. And just remember, like we said before, this is in beta. There are some... Uh, things that have come up, some of it's already been fixed, uh, like the one we were talking about. I believe that was corrected already, and some more will be on the way, but a lot of it. Please put your uh, suggestions in there or feedback, please. All right. Okay, we got another question from Bob Mercer. Um, okay. for, you, for those of you using the, the free Halligan Truck Check app, um, will that continue to be supported through ER and is it still free? Well, right now it is going to be continued, um, Bob, but at some point in time, the free version of Truck Checks Powered by Halligan will be phased out. So hopefully that answers your question. 
Um, if you're using the app, that must mean that you are a premier version user of Halligan because the app doesn't work with the free version. Um, as far as I know, that the, the premier version will be supported continuously through the system. I don't think they're going to phase that out at all. So if that's your question, if you're using that premier version, but the free version will get phased out at some point in time. All right, I have five teals, so we've got about five more minutes. Um, see any other questions we need to discuss, Mark? Well, I am trying to answer them as quickly as I can. Um, again, there's not an app for tablets and, and phones. Um, William Massey is asking this. It is built to be mobile friendly. So hopefully that answers your question. We've looked at that already. And uh, to Don Hay, we, you cannot link individual equipment to the check steps at this point. And uh, that is another great uh, feature request to mention in that beta uh, feedback if you would do that. Um, take a look at it and uh, put that in there if you think I've so. Got, got one here, Mark. I don't know if you've uh, answered yet, but are you able to select numerous vehicles at the same time and assign those checklists to numerous vehicles at once? At the present time, no, that is something we have put in, but also a great um, feedback suggestion is to put that in more people that uh, say that, the better it's going to be where you can just say, okay, I have a, a, a pumper uh, check that I want on all my pumpers. So you would just put that one, make it, and then you could select it, you know, all of them at one time. Right now, you have to add it individually to them. Um, but, you know, copy it and then duplicate it over to those. But, yeah, multiple select there would be, would be great. I've got a question from Jeff McDaniel. Can you edit the notes in the daily log entry? And the answer to that is absolutely yes, um, Jeff. It's permission based by user though. If you give them the ability to edit their daily log entries or others daily log entries, they can edit those. Yeah, and I'm not sure um, how long it's gonna be in, in uh, beta. Um, I haven't heard that answer yet. Yeah, I haven't either. I think it really depends on yeah. how much feedback they're getting. Right. And Cripple Creek Fire is asking when, uh, if you delete a rig check, will the system remove the daily log entry as well? No, it will not. No. Just like anything else, you'd have to manually go find right. that uh, daily log entry and delete again too. So we'll try to answer these uh, Last few questions that we have out there um, before we go offline with everybody. The, there is Tyler is asking, is there a way to automatically email the printed version of the checklist to a person or group of people? And the answer is no, not that I'm aware of. Uh, the only way to do that, from my understanding, would be to save it uh, as a whatever file it is opening up in a different uh, file like here. If you go right here weekly apparatus check like this, and you would just have to save it and, you know, copy and save it. It's not a way to email it out right now. I want to also, um, Melody asked us again, I know we've responded to it a couple of times. Um, she asked about when's Halligan going to get phased out. Uh, the free truck checks is going to get phased out at some point in time. I do not know of a time frame on that. I don't know if one's been established yet, but at some point in the future, the answer is yes, they will be phased out. And and that's for the, the like we said, the, the ER truck check powered by Halligan uh, will, what be, will be phased out. And, uh, you know, or is the paid version that you have or the premier or pro version that they're calling. Um, I haven't heard about that. You know, that will still tie like it's doing now. Okay. And, and our, our friend, Chris Ekstrom down there, Cripple Creek was the one that threw that question out for yeah. us. Hi, Chris. Hope things are going well for you guys down there. Um, I hear there's mm -hmm. some wildfires out West and where I live. We don't have to typically deal with that kind of stuff. And uh, we have Todd Russell from up in Alaska again, asking uh, if somebody completes a rig check, is there a way for it to note in the event module for the date and time? The answer is um, no. Um, Todd, it's not connected to that, but it does put an entry in. You couldn't put an entry onto your daily log automatically, and it does put that routine maintenance in 
to each vehicle's uh, maintenance history. And we're about ready to wrap it up here, folks. I have one question from Hugh Murray again. Uh, he wants to know about fuel. the fuel ER doesn't work on the app. Any thoughts? Uh, usually, um, Hugh, when we find that, it's a uh, issue with whoever's logged in. You may need to positively log them out of that web app and get them to log back in, and that usually will fix that issue right now. Is it uh, is that going to be a ultra uh, secure or a commercial account? I, you know, I don't know. Um, Hugh, yeah, can you answer if, that? If it is, yeah, Hugh, if it is, yeah, Hugh, if it is commercial account, I'm sorry. He is saying it's a commercial account. Okay. Yeah. Then they need to, you know, delete it and add it back. Yeah, I, I had that issue. Uh, I was doing an on-site here uh, last week or two weeks ago, Hugh, and it was a authentication thing, so I positively logged out of the web app and logged back in, and it worked fine. Yeah, After and if it's time. an ultra, the reason I asked that, if it's an ultra account, there's actually a another um, version on the App Store that you can, or excuse me, not on the App Store, but another version you have to go to and download it so that it works on that particular okay. uh, side. All right, I have 12.01. Uh, we're going to have to uh, sign off and uh, go offline, but if you still have questions, of course, you can email one of us, and Mark, if you'll email me that list of questions and stuff, I'll try to answer some too, and we can maybe um, get them knocked out. We do appreciate everyone's participation today. Thank you for the questions. Remember to send in your feedback on the beta version when it comes out this afternoon. And uh, thank you all for attending and I hope everybody stays safe and stay safe and have a great day. Thanks, Mac. Talk to you later. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.